guys um, it's about um, 6 53 in the morning and today my son wanted to wake up and go for his basketball practice so I also woke up and I heard some really beautiful uh, birds uh, sounds here so I thought I'll give it a minute There is a brook that goes in our backyard and um, this is since this is New Jersey there's a lot of uh, deers that we come across. Uh, a whole bunch of deers are always hanging out here. It's just such a great sight. Almost feels like we live in the wild. So one day I'm going to show you. Hello everybody, uh, it's been a nice morning today, um, sun shining, really nice, beautiful day. Um, today I thought, you know, I'll share you something uh, really interesting. This is uh, our uh, Indian um, so-called hot packs. It's a small sized uh, hot pack that I have. Uh, which usually I send like some curries or anything like that for my children to school along with the roti. So um, this one, I just realized that there was, I couldn't wash inside of this. So um, and then like there's uh, like dirt was getting inside of the thing here, right? So I thought, how, how could we wash this, right? Like um, if uh, the, all the dirt is going inside here in the sides, how could we wash this? So I just took a knife and then I started peeling this this cap out. And really shockingly, I'm surprised. Look at the dirt. Jesus Christ, guys. This is the kind of dirt that has been sitting there all along. And um, which um, I never knew. And then like... I was like disgusted and I thought at least I'll share it with everybody out there um, and uh, tell them that it's uh, these things are separatable so, and you can always take them out and wash them and put them back together. Oh, it feels so good to finally wash these ones uh, nicely and um, I'm going to go ahead and attach them now uh, just like that it just goes and sits over there right there like that and then you nicely close it up now it feels so uh, satisfying uh, to have cleaned this up so uh, really guys uh, really uh, anybody out there uh, please go ahead and uh, try this one and uh, another one this one and if you want actually you can just wipe the inside of it nicely dry make sure it's actually dry before putting I may have to take the other one out so just make sure it's nicely dry from the inside And let it air dry for like five minutes before closing it up. Go ahead and fix it.
it snaps nicely so make sure you're putting it in the right direction snaps there you go i hope you like this video and i i am sure a lot of people the mom uh enjoy watching this video because a lot of dirt is sitting in those legs and uh i had these uh milton ones also which is a slightly bigger sized uh, thermos and i thought uh, okay let me go ahead and check the lid for that and here are the lids i thought i'll let me check this one i'm not sure if even this one has dirt so just carefully remove this guys and oh my god like look at the fungus sitting in there oh my god like what am i doing like this is ridiculous uh discovery today and uh, i feel really bad like you know i've been sending these kind of things to my kids once in a while i don't use it that much thankfully maybe i use it once in a week at least and uh, this is horrible like i have been sending this to my children and it's i'm disgusted uh, i'm really feeling very guilty about this and i didn't know luckily i you know i i kind of like my mind was like what's happening here and uh, luckily i figured this out i'm going to clean these guys up and i'm going to show you how to put it back uh, and thankfully they actually have this like like nicely to be opened and look at this one guys oh my god like really disgusting let's clean this up oh what a day i was just thinking about the dirt that i'd accumulated here and i was thinking i went i'd washed them um and i was so glad that you know always whenever i was closing these lids onto this i always covered this with a plastic wrap thankfully and that way at least now i know that nothing from the lid actually passed inside but seriously like oh my god i am like uh, shocked and you know i am for, you know like really like uh, shocking to me that how much dirt was there um so i'm going to go ahead and uh, dry this out nicely before attaching them i'll show you how i'm going to attach them so it's nicely dried let's uh, go ahead and attach these guys into this so i think this goes in the back and this all plain goes in the front so and i see these lines actually so they sit on those lines and then they nicely have to snap there you go they just snap in nicely okay there you go um that's not looking so much nicer uh, i actually i wanted to tell you like you know i'm also by nature i'm a minimalist um, uh, so i i don't buy too many things i go ahead and do reuse a lot um so this hot pack has been there for almost uh, 10 years now and i've been sending them food for many years mm, they don't like food in this but uh, that's why i send it once in a week or something like that so anyway go ahead and make sure that snap sound you hear that snap sound there you go just wondering if it snapped well it needs to go all the way to the bottom there so so yeah like by nature i am actually a minimalist so this one is not closing properly let's go ahead and snap make sure it snaps well okay there So okay guys so that looks good and it's all ready to go So I am by nature a minimalist and I've been I use um 
I don't buy a lot of things at home here. So, um, hopefully, you know, uh, in some way I'm actually contributing to saving this earth. And that's what exactly I've been teaching my kids also to do. Very minimalist and uh, uh, reuse things and, you know, uh after moving from canada we have been in new jersey we have started using the water bottles and my son has already started telling us you know what we need to stop buying these bottles and i'm like yes <laughs> there you go my son you know this is exactly uh what i trained you for you know he's it's uh, he's only 13 and of course 13 is a big age in this generation he is telling me and you know it's uh, it's so nice to see him tell that you know after all this effort all these years of effort that i have put on them you know uh, you know this is uh, we need to save and you know we shouldn't be buying too many things so they understand now it's nice mm, as you can see and this one is uh, uh, another um, thermos that I have from India and of course there's no sign this so I wanted to see if this one also has the dirt you know I've been like very curiously going around okay so this one seems to be like finely attached so really we can't uh, uh, open this one is not able to be opened okay so only a few of them are you can easily open them this one seems to be attached so i'm really not really worried about this one because it's probably okay in there maybe there's fungus growing but i don't know uh i don't that's why i recommend you not to wash the lid that much you know just if wherever possible just just rinse your um thermos lids especially from the ones from india just uh, wipe it dry and just use it like that don't wash them is my recommendation to you this one is another broken one and as i said i usually don't throw things it is still usable it's in a great usable condition just because there's one handle is broken i don't throw them it's still usable uh, a lot of people say this is broken actually how is it broken tell me it's only the handle is broken of course and uh, you can still use it guys and i uh, use it people so this one i was you know looking at this one this one is a really nice uh hot pack or thermos because you know like uh unlike these guys which is all covered like this this one is not having something like that it's all nicely closed and there is no way that any dirt can go here right so this one i would recommend this one because um this is a cello brand i don't know if they still make this kind of brands this one i would definitely recommend it to you because um they're nice i like the lid there's no way the dirt actually could enter the lid and i always recommend you guys to like uh, just wipe it with a wet cloth if possible the lids especially don't wash them don't wash them in water too much water just give it a nice wipe like that keep it dry okay so that's what i would recommend so here you go and this one is another one which is a Milton brand and uh, look at this one this one also has I need to go ahead and wash because I think there's some dirt it's actually not fungus but this one says Milton so the other one was uh, cello they both look very similar this one says Milton and uh, this one says Milton but they are nice products you know when they close at the top uh, but still it gives like it's, it has some gaps I don't know why so as much as possible just give your lids only with a wet cloth wipe all the dirt off don't wash them ever so make sure the water doesn't 
get into these corners so always wipe it with a damp, uh, damp cloth so um, i'm going to make sure that they are not made um, wet in the future at least all these years i washed them in water but now i'm actually going to just use a damp cloth and just use it like this uh these are great products i would highly recommend for anybody who is starting a family uh it's a one time buy it just stays with you forever and uh and it's uh, reusable you know like don't throw them away when if one handle is broken it's fine see i'm using one bro- handle broken this one also one handle broken yeah sometimes they fall they break but you're lucky uh if nothing happened to the other parts only the handle broke so yeah uh, i hope you liked all this video about uh, thermoses and uh, the indian uh, hot packs that we call them thanks for watching